The 2023 Global Series in Sweden, four teams, the Red Wings, Senators, Maple Leafs, and Wild. They'll play four games again starting on Thursday with the Red Wings and the Senators, and it goes through the weekend. And, you know, guys, you got a couple of teams on, on that list that are struggling, to say the least. I mean, the <laughs> Wild come to mind, certainly. Uh, we hear all the time about, hey, sometimes it's good for a struggling team to get on the road. Is there something a little bit different, though, about maybe getting far away on the road, an experience like that? to you know share some some team bonding and maybe get your mind right a little bit yeah I think you're not going to be on Instagram or any uh, <laughs> X or anything like that uh, but it's okay to go out and have a few pints I think for Minnesota it's good they got a lot of players from Sweden uh, on their team and uh, and to be able to see where they grew up for some of these kids being close to home and, and being out with their friends but I think uh, Minnesota is going over there and uh, they, they probably do need a night out uh, get a little group bonding going and uh, you know want to want to compete for each other you know coming off that last game and and playing against Dallas giving up seven uh, special team goals so it's probably a great opportunity and that's uh, impressive to yeah, do that <laughs> yeah that's it's hard to do <laughs> No, and, and like you said, it, it could be a season-defining trip, right? Uh, you're struggling. You're trying to find your identity. You know, guys are playing good here and there sporadically. You need to be a little bit more consistent. So for these guys to go over there, uh, it's just the guys. I'm sure some uh, girls and wives and families and stuff would go see this uh, experience to go travel to see an NHL game in Sweden, beautiful country. Uh, so so it, it's it's game time. When the games come to play, you're going to have, you know, work your tails off, try and get that W, and, and uh, just to alleviate some of the pressure of the home 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 barn or whatever but it's a real special experience and as a coach I'm playing all the kids from there I'm I'm bumping them up five minutes each yep. because they're going to be playing in front of their grandparents uh, their cousins you know just all family members so bump up the ice time for the hometown boys yeah now Scott you said it uh, maybe alleviate some of the pressure you know what is a lot of pressure playing your first NHL game and not just playing your first NHL game but playing it against Mario Lemieux and Yarmir Yager and doing it in Tokyo, Scott Hartnell's first National Hockey League game was an international game. It, it was very international. It was about a 15-hour flight from Detroit to uh, Tokyo, Japan, and we played the Penguins, and uh, they had a couple average players on that team, Torch, uh, Mario Lemieux, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yarmir Yager, yeah, there's Sam no, Wilson. No visor there in that in, in that picture, but... Uh, Good uh, F1. It, it was, yeah, get in there, get a bang, get a body on the, on the guys, but it, it was such a crazy experience, right? You know, everyone's first NHL game is usually in North America, right? And uh, for me, it was all the way to Tokyo, and uh, just the, my parents obviously weren't there, and we came back, and I was an 18 year old so I had to play the 10 games whether I was gonna stay or not and then they came to Nashville for my third game and I uh, was just just quite the, the whirlwind of all the, the, the travel the time change and uh, you know I'm an 18 year old kid I'm like this is awesome I'm sitting in I got I can lounge all the way back in my <laughs> my 16 hour flight uh, you know Delta whatever it was it, it was a pretty special experience and it just seems like a long long time ago and it's amazing how time flies and you had a, a big First shift in that. Game. I, I did. Yep. It was uh, it was me, uh, Greg Clausen, and Billy Peltonen. And yeah. uh, Pittsburgh had the home change, and so we get out there. Uh, they throw on the big boys, Lemieux, Yager, and Herdina. And I look back at the bench, and and uh, Barry Trotz is sitting there. He's like, "Change it up, Carson. Change <laughs> oh, it up." Oh, not last soon. Oh no, no. And and dead, dead straight, dead serious. Greg Clausen goes to me. He's like, hey, Hearts, around the world, I'm going to win the drawback. You're going to come around. I'm going to go back door. You're going to hit me there. And I, and I was like, I think he means change. Look who's out here, you know. So the faceoff uh, drops, and I didn't even look where it went. I just pinned it right to the bench. So it was about four or five seconds of shift, and we get off, and we're just fist pumping like, we've made the NHL, man. This is awesome. Man. So that was my first, uh, not uh, not like, uh, you know, some of the, the stars in the game now that score, you know, four goals in their first game, oh, like Matthews, yeah, Matthews. right? 